Hey everyone, this is Marco from Alliance Concrete Pumps and today I got a good tip for you, uh, one that could really make or break your day. Uh, so in front of me we have two of our uh, electronically controlled uh, hydraulic control solenoids. And the big deal between this is there's a very slight difference in the pattern. So when you go to order a new one, you really want to make sure you're replacing it with the correct one. Uh, they do look identical, you know, off a, off a shelf look the same when they're installed they look the same uh, some issues this could create if you put the wrong one in the wrong spot you're going to be wondering why your pump's not pumping correctly uh, or in some cases a safety issue like uh, with the agitator here it will not properly uh, stop moving when your e-stops are hit so let's just go over this really quickly two patterns we're dealing with when it's in the neutral non-energized position you can see the flow go straight through one way, back the other. And then once the, this solenoid will be energized, it shifts over to a cross pattern, just like an X you see here in one way, out across. And the big difference we're looking for on the other one is this in the neutral position, where it was in and out, it now has an H pattern in it, meaning that the fluid pressure equalizes. So if we have A to tank here, it's gonna go in and then neutrally uh, level itself with tank pressure. And then once it's energized, like normal, it just goes crisscross. And uh, for this one, it would be an ag uh, your agitators. So your agitators will function. And then the big thing is uh, once you hit an e-stop and this de-energizes, it goes into this neutral position with uh, equal pressure. So the agitator will not spin. So just behind the hopper here, uh, we have our lines to our agitator and then our lines in uh, from the pump and a return to tank. Now for the agitator solenoid, the one with the H pattern as its neutral position, the reason it's so important is if you think of the, the diagram on that, on that solenoid, you'll see if it goes across, we'll still get flow through. So in the case that we hit our e-stop, it de-energizes, it goes into uh, that H position. What will happen is since one of these is flow in and one's return to tank, the flow is just going to go in. These are going to be equal pressure. These lines to the agitator are going to be equal pressure, so it won't move. And there's going to be very, very minimal amount of pressure, if not none. And the rest is just going to go back to tank because there's, there's no blockage. There's no uh, available place to put that pressure. If we have the uh, other solenoid installed, the one without the H pattern, the reason that's so dangerous is in the case of you hit the E-stops, instead of venting back to tank, what it's gonna do, you're gonna have pressure in, it's gonna go straight through, down, and then back through to tank. So just like a normal cylinder would, you're gonna build that pressure and it's going to move. So it won't operate, uh, it won't stop the agitator when you hit the e-stops, which as you know, big safety issue, that's the, why we, that's the reason uh, why that valve is so important. And if you have a case where uh, your hopper grade safety switch goes bad, what you can do is just on the back, there's a tab. So you, like emergency operation here, uh, you know the issue, you have, you're gonna order the part because that's the big thing. If you have a safety bypass like this, you don't wanna operate it continuously, you're gonna order that part to be replaced. But you can push the little brass button in, it's on the uh, in facing inside of the hopper here. You can press that in, there's a wire, wire tab you can pull over it and that's going to lock it in the active position so in the case you need to or even the coil on this solenoid goes bad you can operate your agitator uh, so you don't don't mess up your pour you you can run the rest of the day but after that you really should order that part and get it replaced as soon as possible because last thing you want is the agitator operating when you open that hopper grate big safety issue there and that's really the importance of those two valves, like I said earlier, if you have the H pattern on one of your forward pumping uh, logics, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna get the pressure. It would work uh, exact opposite you want it to. So it won't build any pressure in the neutral position and, and you're gonna be wondering why your, your truck doesn't wanna pump correctly. Uh, if there's any paint on it, something you can do, just grab a little razor blade very carefully once you've removed this, if you're going to replace it with another one, just to verify which, which solenoid you need. You can take a little razor blade and scratch the paint off. It's quite common that there will be paint on it, but just very carefully. Uh, don't use something like sandpaper. You're gonna take off all the writing and it's, you're never gonna be able to read it. 
If you have any questions about it though, don't be afraid to give us a call and we'll, we'll walk you through what you need to do and make sure you get the right part for uh, a safe and correct operation of your pump. Thank you and that's your Tech Tip Tuesday.